Hey guys, welcome back to our living room. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is really chill. Um, I just want to also say there's like stuff all in the back. I need to put some stuff away in storage. Got some clean dishes over there. Um, but anyway, I don't know if you can also tell by the way, I should just ask this in the beginning. But today I'm actually filming this video on my new iPhone. Still trying to decide if I love it. I honestly mainly bought it for the camera. Um, and I would love to hear your opinion. Do you like the quality of this video? I feel like it looks really good now. In the beginning, I was just like, wait, I don't understand this camera. But anyway, this is not an iPhone review video. Today, I am gonna be talking to you guys about products that I love to use both in skincare as well as makeup to really kind of brighten up my skin, to give me a glowing complexion. And I have used a lot of these products for a long time, but these types of products now for years, and they've changed my skin, especially when it comes to skincare, they truly have transformed my skin, so we'll get into that. But then for makeup, I do have you know a few products and a few techniques to share, from correcting your skin, to brightening your skin, to also um, setting everything in place. But let's just get into beautiful skin brightening products, products that are gonna give you like glowing, gorgeous skin, both in skincare and in makeup. All right, guys, so before we get started, I just wanna show you guys my skin without any makeup. Of course, I do have my eyebrows done and my eyes done, and I even have a little bit of a lip balm situation, but I have nothing on my face. So you guys already know my skin is super dry. I also have like dull skin. So I'm always looking for like products that are really going to help brighten and add a beautiful glow to my skin. Um, in addition to that, I do also have hyperpigmentation. I have under eye dark circles. I have, you know, darkness around my mouth, a um, few dark patches all over my forehead. This is normal skin concerns that a lot of people have. My skin definitely has come a long way over the years and it's definitely, you know, thanks to a lot of these types of products that I'm going to be sharing today. So we are going to get started with skincare first um, and I have three different types of products that have changed my skin completely. This, I would just want to say, took years. This did not happen overnight. This doesn't happen instantly. It really took years for me to see a difference in my skin, but I see it now and that is vitamin C. Now, I like to use a vitamin C serum in my morning routine, so it is pretty early right now. And what I did this morning was wash my face with cold water and immediately applied a vitamin C serum. Then I did like my eye cream, my moisturizer, my SPF. But the first thing that I always like to do on clean skin is apply vitamin C. And I'm currently using the Tula Brightening Treatment Drops Triple Vitamin C Serum. And I really like this. I'll talk about the actual product in just one second. But what a vitamin C is gonna do for you is just really help even out your skin, help fade any dark spots, any sunspots. I also love that this specific one from Tula adds a beautiful glow to my skin, like a visible glow that you will see instantly. So I do love that because my skin, like I said, is just so like dry and like always lacks that glow. So anytime I can get it, I love it. So it's got this like, mm, like a gel type consistency, the serum and you massage this into your skin. And once you blend it out, it just leaves behind such a nice glow, you guys. And this is not really gonna add like a burst of hydration or anything like that on your skin. This is just really gonna work to help kind of, you know, fade the dark spots, help with hyperpigmentation, all of that. You will need to layer on additional products if you are looking for that hydration like I constantly am. I do encourage you guys to start using vitamin C serums every single day, no exceptions. And in a few months, you will start to see a big, big difference in your skin. All right, so the second type of product, and I've talked about this type of product many times in the past, but this honestly is so effective that it's like worth mentioning again, and that is chemical exfoliators. Now, before I even show you guys the different variations that I have of chemical exfoliators, and I have quite a few in front of me, I just wanna explain what that is for anyone that might not know because I didn't know for the longest time and once I kind of understood it, I'm telling you this was a freaking game changer. So basically there's two types of exfoliators for your face and your body. 
So one is going to be a physical exfoliator, like a face scrub, where you have to physically go in and like remove all of the dead skin cells. But a much more effective and a much more gentle way to exfoliate your skin is to use a chemical exfoliator. And what these products are gonna do is just like the physical face scrub, it's going to, as soon as you apply it on the skin, just kind of like, you know, eat away at the dead skin cells. I know that's like so gross, but that's exactly what it's doing. And it leaves behind like almost an instant visible glow. And I love these products. I also just wanna call out, not just with chemical exfoliators, but with any product that I'm mentioning or another blogger that you follow is mentioning, if you're pregnant, just do your own research. Is it safe to use or not? I can't tell you that. Do your own research and then also speak to your doctor. But I do wanna show you guys some of my favorite chemical exfoliators. I'm not using these currently, but I absolutely adore them and they just, they're amazing. So the first one is the Dr. Dennis Gross and this is the Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel Pad. There's two steps to this. So basically you're gonna use step one. It's like a little pad apply it all over clean skin, wait for a minute, and then move on to step two, wait a minute, and then do the rest of your skincare. And this literally gives you a visible glow like so quickly, it's amazing. The second one, and this is a brand new one, I haven't even used this one, but I've used multiple bottles of this. And this is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. So basically this is an AHA, a chemical exfoliator in a serum form. This does kind of tingle on the skin, but it feels so nice. And like you see, like you wake up to an instant glow. I freaking love this. I also have a face mask. This is the Ren Glycolic Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask. Again, visible glow instantly with this product. So many of you guys bought this after I talked about it and loved it. And I highly recommend this. Another one I have here is a toner form, and this is from Urad. This is called the Replenishing Multi-Acid Peel. This is like a little toner, chemical exfoliator that you can use on your skin. This is great as well. Okay, so we have made it to the last and quite possibly the most important skincare step. You already know what's coming, fam, if you have followed me for a long time, and that, of course, is SPF. Now, I just shared a bunch of skincare products that I love, and you're gonna spend so much time and research and money into purchasing a lot of these products. And if you don't protect your skin from the sun, it is just not going to be as effective. Even on days when it's like snowing or raining or cloudy and you just like don't even see the sun, I still wear SPF. It's very important, trust me, you will see how much more effective your skincare is when you start using SPF consistently. The one that I'm currently really enjoying using is from Murad. This is called the City Skin Age Defense SPF 50, and this is a mineral SPF. Now, the thing with mineral SPF is that, you know, it can sometimes leave like a white cast on the skin or even like a purplish tint on the skin. And a lot of times, until like very recently, they just would feel so heavy and just like cakey on the skin. You know what I mean? Like you really would have to massage it in for it to like completely blend out. But now mineral SPFs have come such a long way and there's just so many brands out there that I love. Again, I'll pop pictures all over the screen and link some in the description box below. But I do wanna show you guys this specific one on the back of my hand. It blends out completely clear. And again, doesn't feel like a regular SPF. You know, it just feels like a really nice um, face primer. All right, so that is it for all of my skincare picks and now fam we are going to be talking about some amazing makeup products that really help to correct conceal and of course brighten up my skin so the first step that i like to use um, and i don't like to do this every day i kind of do this as i need it but the days that i do this step my makeup just looks so flawless and i get such a beautiful even base and that is to color correct now I actually have two different color correctors to share here. I'm gonna demonstrate both of these for you guys. Um, and I'll talk about why I love them. So the first is from Bobbi Brown. And I have two different shades here because when I talked about the one shade that I love, a lot of you told me that you couldn't find it. I don't know if they discontinued this shade or what it is. I will do my best to link this exact shade, but if they don't have it, I have a backup shade to show you guys. So this is the shade that I love in the shade medium to dark peach. This is 
amazing, okay? This is so, so, so good. But for some reason, if you can't find it, I also recommend this shade right here. This is in the shade Dark Bisque, which also works really well, but I just prefer the shade so much more. But what I like to do is on bare skin, I'll take some on my finger and I will apply it in the areas that I want to color correct. So I'm just applying this in the areas that I need it. So like for me, I have some discoloration around my mouth, underneath my eyes, and you can see just like on its own even, it does such a good job to like even everything out, you know? So this is medium to dark peach. And then I also do wanna show you guys um, dark bisque, which also works really well. It's just a little bit darker than the first shade but it also works really well. So if you can't find the first one, I do recommend the second one. But I also really love the Live Tinted um, Hue Stick in the shade Rise. Now this is a multi-purpose product, but I'm just gonna use it as a true color corrector today. And this has a very yellowish tint. And this is actually great because this is gonna work on a lot of different skin tones. And what I really like about this specific color corrector is that it blends out so nicely. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation and then I'll come back and show you guys the second step on how I like to brighten up my skin with makeup. My foundation is all done and for anyone wondering, I use the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. My shade is 42.5 and it matches me perfectly. I love, love, love this foundation. But anyway, you guys can clearly see that none of the um, color correctors are like showing through and that again goes back because you just don't need a lot of product but what i will say is that everything just looks really nice and even and now we're really going to go in and brighten up the skin and for that i'm actually going to share two different concealers and what i like to do with my base i will say with my foundation i like to match it exactly to my skin or i'm even okay with going like a little bit darker because then I can use a lighter concealer like I'm going to do today to just kind of even everything out and brighten up my skin in the areas that I need to. So the first one is from Rare Beauty. I am just loving this concealer. I can't stop using it. I can't get enough. It is so hydrating, full coverage, or like I would say like medium to buildable coverage. So again, you can clearly see that this is lighter than my actual skin. By the way, I'm using the shade 290N. This is lighter than my skin tone. But when I blend everything out, you guys will see that it just blends out so nicely. Another concealer that I love and I've used this for years and years, again, multiple tubes of this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, this is in the shade Ginger and this is full coverage. And this one actually I would say is even lighter than the Rare Beauty one, but once it's blended out, it looks stunning and does such a great job at brightening up my skin. So I'm gonna go in again with my beauty sponge. And if I ever feel like I need to kind of, you know, help my concealer blend in with my foundation, what I'll do is use kind of like a clean side of the beauty sponge and really press it where the concealer meets the foundation and kind of go over everything. And there you guys have it, step two is to use a concealer that's just a little bit lighter than your skin to brighten up certain parts of your face. And this trick works so well for me. I've used it for years and years and I love this trick. All right, fam, and now for my last step to lock everything in place and to further brighten up my skin a little bit more, I do have to set everything in place. And I love using these specific types of powders and I'll explain why I love them. So first of all, I have the Hourglass Veil Powder as well as the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I hope you guys can notice one thing about both of them and that is that they both have this yellowish tint. This one is a little bit more yellow than this one, but the point is you wanna use a loose powder that has like that yellowish tint to again, further brighten your skin. And I think I'm just gonna use the um, Laura Mercier one today because I've just been into this so much. And I will load up the powder on my actual sponge and then apply it and do like a very quick light bake. And it works so well to again, blend uh, or brighten up your skin. 
All right, guys, so I just took a few minutes to finish the rest of my makeup. If you're curious what else I used on my face in terms of makeup, check the description box below. I actually, I love these products that I use. The bronzer, the blush, the highlight, lip, everything. I'm so into it. But anyway, um, I just wanted to quickly again end the last portion, which is the loose powder. I'm telling you, get one with a little bit of a yellow tint, especially if your skin tone is close to mine. And that's really going to make a big difference in like brightening up your skin even more. But anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys found this useful. I know it's a little bit different, but these um, six products or six types of products are really effective both in skincare and in makeup to really brighten up my skin, add a beautiful glow to my skin. And I love all the products that I mentioned today. Um, as always, everything will be linked below. Thank you all so much for watching. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.